Hi, I am Paige Fluker, a public relations and communications consultant, and this is a Picha Kucha presentation on my client, the El Paso Zoo, and its zoo adventure program. During the presentation, we'll go over key aspects of our communication campaign, such as goals, objectives, strategies, tactics, messaging, and more. The El Paso Zoo's mission is to celebrate the value of animals and natural resources and to create opportunities for people to rediscover their connection to nature. With more than 200, 220 species, the zoo serves as the largest attraction in the El Paso, Texas and Juarez, Mexico region. Primary research determined 93% of zoo guests agreed their family enjoyed seeing animals up close at zoos, and 94% felt that zoos and aquariums taught children how people can protect animals and the habitats they depend on. The primary research plan will later include a focus group and survey. The sample size will be between 500 and 1,000 individuals located in the El Paso, New Mexico, and Juarez, Mexico region. The duration of the survey will last for six weeks. Secondary research revealed 51% of current Zoo Adventure Program attendees are from schools and educators. The most popular program in use is Shadow a Veterinarian. It allows students from a local Magna High School to intern at the zoo for the entire school year. According to the Student Doctor Network, shadowing a physician distinguishes students by providing them with clinical exposure. The program also allows students to practice on state-of-the-art equipment. This is important because local El Paso high schools do not have the funds to purchase high-tech equipment for their classrooms. The Zoo Adventure Program's key publics and stakeholders include zoo staff, the City of El Paso government, parents, children ages 0 to 15 years of age, the El Paso Zoological Society, Association of Zoos and Aquariums, local schools, educators, and animal enthusiasts. The goals for this campaign are to increase program awareness, bookings, and interest while garnering feedback from their target audience. Other goals are to reach tourists, Latinos, military, and educational communities in or near El Paso, Texas. To be a bit more specific, the zoo really wants to increase brand awareness and reputation in the local community by presenting a cost-effective program for families that educates, entertains, and builds relationships. The objective of the campaign is to position the Zoo Adventure Program as the first choice when seeking a fun and educational way to entertain children in El Paso, Texas. Other objectives are to increase program attendance by 50% in 12 months, garner immediate feedback from target audiences, and for the community of El Paso to view the program as an educational resource. The strategies behind this plan are meant to broaden the zoo's brand beyond its updated tagline of Escape into a New Adventure, to not only escaping into a one-time adventure, but to create a long-lasting educational and fun experience. The initial market research and analysis revealed the zoo has more than 42,000 likes on Facebook and receives roughly 100 likes for every three out of five posts. Therefore, we plan to continue with internet and interactive marketing on social media. The plan is to spread content across Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to extend the Zoo Adventure program's reach to our primary audience and any secondary audiences. In addition, we'll use traditional public relations methods such as creating media lists for press releases and email marketing involving zoo, current zoo members. We'll also share updates on the program and develop advertising, public relations, and internet marketing schedules for multiple outlets and platforms. Our tactics include developing two video spots highlighting the Zoo Adventure program, creating one brochure for local businesses, and working closely with the City of El Paso and the Chamber of Commerce to partner on community events. We plan to use social media to post B-roll of the program bi-weekly on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and post three to five photos on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter every week showing the program in action. Lastly, we'll target influencers on Twitter and pitch white papers, 
byline articles and news releases to bloggers, trade, and local media. These tactics were influenced by additional research conducted during the campaign that showed more than 52% of all marketers have found a customer on Facebook and that videos increased understanding of a product or service by 74%. This will be a 12-month communication plan. We feel that 12 months will give an ample amount of time to study, test, implement, and assess findings from our research. If the goals are not on track by month four of the campaign, then we'll reevaluate the target audience, strategies, and tactics. This will continue throughout the campaign to ensure we're reaching our audience and delivering accurate messages. The Zoo Adventure program was given a budget of $2,000 for the year-long campaign. However, if attempting to keep costs minimal while simultaneously producing quality, we would have a budget of $6,600. $3,000 for TV, $1,000 for internet advertising, $1,000 for print advertising, $1,100 for print production, and $500 for email marketing. If we are unable to increase the current budget, then, we'll plan, then we plan to cut $2,000 from television marketing, $1,000 for print advertising, $1,100 from print production, and $500 from email marketing. That will leave the budget at $1,000 for television production and $1,000 for internet advertising. Facebook Insights will be used to measure demographics, impressions, towns, cities, and countries of visitors on a weekly basis. We'll also measure any changes in program bookings and ticket sales. Lastly, we'll use Google Analytics to measure activity on the Zoo Adventure Program landing page. For more information about this campaign, feel free to email me at pagericapr at gmail.com.